we see another type of problem in uh, rectangular lamina okay in this problem also they have not mentioned any kind of inclinations so based on the question we have to proceed with the solution okay, okay you can see in this question first we have to construct a rectangular lamina of dimension 20 to 25 has an edge so you can see in this problem uh, constructing a rectangle 20 to 25 has an edge in hp and adjoining in edge in vp so that's what our first position <coughs> It is tilted such that its front view appears as a rectangle of dimension 20 into 15 mm. So that's what your second position. Okay. So now I'm drawing the uh, first position. So you can see in this uh, first we have to construct a rectangle of dimension 20 into 25. so here you can see that uh, we need to construct a rectangle of dimension 20 to 25 we know that so it will be there in the vertical plane because it's the next uh, view is in front view correct so so how we have to proceed you can see that one edge has to be there in hp another adjoining edge has to be there in vp so what i will do i'll be drawing one edge one edge that is 20 uh, that is touching the vertical plane another edge of dimension 25 so i am starting with the vp here okay so you can see that 20 25 so you can see in this problem so one edge is there in the hp plane another adjoining edge it is there in the vp so based on the question has an edge in hp okay and adjoining edge in vp so both the things are done so now we'll show with the dimensions is 20 20 this is the 25 okay this is a dash b dash c dash b dash so here you can see that a b this is d c so this is what the front view so front view also we get it on the same line so we are done with the first position now we see that so such that it is tilted its front view is a rectangle of 20 into 15 so what we do in this problem is it is like uh, like this like this you can see that this like this say so this is our first quadrant like this we have placed the lamina and then we are tilting like this okay tilting like this tilting like this such that we get a another rectangle of 20 into 15 so another rectangle of 20 into 15 we have to get it here so uh, if we project it here okay we project it here we get a 20 so that means uh, one edge we get it here that is 20 okay another edge we get it that is 15 20 into 15 you can see in the question so 20 into 15 20 into 15 that is a dash b dash c dash d dash so this is what 15 and this is what 20 okay it's 20 and this is 50 okay so this is dimension 15 this is 20 so now we have to project to get the angle here so we have this is what we have b so measuring this length from here to here we can cut the arc okay. this is d of c then you can join this you can find out angle here so the how much angle we will get it here we will check it so the angle we are getting it is around 53 degree 
3 degree. Now you see in the question, the edge which is in VP is 30 mm from the right profile plane. The edge which is in VP right profile from the so which is 30 mm from the right profile plane. So this is what the edge which is there in the VP because a dash b dash a dash b dash. So from this end we have to count 30 three boxes. Say three boxes. This is 30 and exactly here we have to construct an x1 y1 line x1 y1 line to find out the other vb okay side view so here i am marking at 45 degree to get the side view we have to draw 45 degree angle line correct so this is a 45 degree so i can project Project it from both sides. From both sides. I can see that where we get a D and C. So D double dash here we get and C double dash here we get. And then here you can see A B from this end and we have A B. So A means uh, the B double dash we get it here. And this is B double dash. So this is what our side view. So this completes your problem. So based on the question, we have proceeded, right? So you can see in this question also, they have not mentioned any kind of weave here, okay? Any kind of weave. So this is RPP and this is left side view. So based on the question, we have done this problem.